Welcome back to Fisher Farms, everybody. Today, um, we got new treads for the uh, other Gleaner M3. So what used to be on it were Goodyear. You can see that. And they were coming apart like there. And a couple other spots like metal or the plastic or the rubber was just peeling right off and getting really bad. I think these are 23, yeah, that's what says these are 21, 23.1 by 30 tubeless, and those were good tires, were okay when we bought it, and then these went downhill. It's been a couple days since the combine has been out, but it was out of here. Today. GoPro does not like dark spaces, so I really gotta open the door. Oh. GoPro is okay with the dark space, but we can open her up. There we go, she's open now. Sorry. Look at them new treads. They look wide. They're nice wide. I think they're a firestone, if I'm wrong. And then they're most looks metric, might be wrong. Yeah, I think they're a firestone. I don't know. I haven't looked at them too much, but they're definitely a way meatier tire. They aren't poking out the side. Um, we got rid of the Massey Ferguson 750 for these tires. The 750 we had last year. I didn't, I didn't get any video of it, but that combine had a... Oh, that's a great question. I think it might have had a Cummins or something. I, I don't think it had a Cummins. Can't remember what kind of motor that had, but it sounded really sweet. Sweet. It was straight piped. Right out the side. If you look them up on YouTube, all of them are straight piped. No muffler. And then these are shorter tires. My uncle's combine has the way taller tires. And these are also Firestone. 24 and a half by 32. I believe these are metric. Actually, that might be the brand. I am still sticking to Firestone, but these are the new tires. No rear tires for this. The rear tires are good on this unit. Um, other than that, that bearing right there. Let me jam on that. That bearing is the cylinder bearing. If I can move that for you. Oh, here's the casing. I gotta move it over. There we go. There we go. That's supposed to be there. That bearing is junk. So we gotta get a couple new bearings for this. This is why this one was not used for the oat harvesting video, because it has bearings out of it. Um, that bearing actually went out on the last like eight rows of custom corn that we had. So we finished out almost on fire, but it made it through. We caught it early enough, we put it out. So then we finished our eight rows and Oh, well, I was really excited to get the new tires in the combine. So excited I didn't bring it out the same day for the guy to put it on. So we figured out how to drive it out of the shed. So that's about it. Got new treads on the Gleaner M3. She looks nice. All we got to do is vacuum and clean out the cab. And that's going to be just about it for this video. Remember to hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button down there helping me out by doing that. See you guys in my next video.